guys hey nurse nancy here and i thought i would show you real quick what i'm bringing and packing in our medical bags so what kind of medical things am i bringing for our cruise we're going to be leaving for miami tomorrow um going cruising and um so i have everything ready and thought i would just show you guys what i pack um, one thing I wanted to say is that uh, if you have, especially if you have underlying conditions, uh, make sure that you consult and check with your doctor, even over the counter meds. Some of them are not safe if you have certain um, underlying conditions. So always um, check with your doctor. I'm not trying to take the place of medical advice, but I thought it would be helpful to show you what I have in my medical um, supplies for a cruise. I do want to say that none of these supplies are uh, obtained by theft from my work. I have obtained them all through being a mom through the years and having uh, family and multiple medical things that and we've had purchases. So just want to get that disclaimer out there that none of this stuff have I obtained from like theft or taking it from my work. Um, it's all legit. So Favor from Life with Favor, who's another cruising channel and other lifetime kind of channel, Favor and Rob kind of thought that it would be helpful to show medical, what kind of what I bring um, for a cruise. So since I am a nurse, I haven't been a nurse for 28 years, um, I thought I would show you uh, what type of supplies that we bring. I also got dialed up in my scrubs that I do wear to work. Um, just at the ship show, I was mentioning a walk for um, breast cancer awareness and I'm all about that. Um, so good job ship show. Check out the ship show if you haven't. Uh, another excellent cruise channel. Okay, so let's get started. I don't have these really in any specific order. I'm just going to go down my list for what, what we bring and kind of why I bring it. Okay, so, so um, one of the big things that I bring is uh, ibuprofen. Um, I really uh, use ibuprofen for my um, pain relief. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory and um, it's what works for me and my family. I'm gonna bring a, a whole bottle of ibuprofen for our room and then I take an, a little uh, purse-sized container of ibuprofen along with me on our travel so that oh. if I have a headache or if I have any other pain that um, I can uh, take care of that right away. When we go in the water, sometimes my earwax kind of plugs up my ears. So I have a earwax, this, this earwax removal kit that I bring just in case. Um, it helps so that I don't have a plugged ear for the whole cruise. And then I bring this little syringe um, to flush it out if I need to. I don't have an uh, issue with that all the time, but when it happens, it can be really debilitating because if an ear was plugged, it's no fun. <laughs> And the next up, I have um, just the Equate of NyQuil, DayQuil. Um, so this is just Walmart's brand. Um, the cruise crud is real and sometimes we get congestion. Um, and what works for us is this um, NyQuil, DayQuil equivalents. I pack them into a bag with the, the soft gel so that I don't have the liquid coming along. and. Um, that really helps to relieve some of those symptoms. The nighttime does kind of wipe you out, but it lets you get some sleep if you have really bad congestion. So that's what works for us. Um, then Pink Bismuth. This, um, this is like Pepto-Bismol, but it's the Walmart equivalent. So the key ingredient in this is bismuth uh, subsalicylate and um, it does help protect your stomach so if you're going to be going like to Mexico and having you know you're gonna have spicy foods um, you might want to take a couple of these in the morning before you go do that kind of excursion when we went to Rwanda the travel nurse actually had us taking two tabs of these four times a day so with each meal and then at bedtime just for protection against uh, bacteria that our stomach may not be used to. So if you really want to protect your stuff, 
itself from uh, stomach problems with against the food, um, you can take this. But this also um, has some other side effects, kind of constipate you, I think. But otherwise, um, this really helps protect your stomach. Speaking of your stomach, um, then we bring Tums. I just bring a little baggie for Tums that we can chew down um, if we have really bad indigestion. And as long as I'm talking about that um, for constipation, I bring these little packets of Miralax. Um, that helps just if you're constipated. And then also I bring a little baggie of omeprazole just for antacid. Uh, sometimes Anthony especially gets bad acid at night and this keeps him from having that bad acid. So I can put that in a little bag as well. Then I bring a um, bunch of some, a little baggie of Tylenol, acetaminophen. And then also, I don't use this as much, but it's a pain reliever. And sometimes if the ibuprofen isn't working, um, that will do the trick. And um, it also can help with fevers. Um, so bring that fever down. But ibuprofen can also help with that. And then um, some Benadryl, diphenhydramine. Um, for sleep, it does make you very sleepy, but also it's a um, antihistamine, so it can work to, um, if you're having an allergic reaction, it's kind of a good immediate step before you would go to like a doctor. You can take some uh, diphenhydramine or Benadryl, um, and that is usually listed under like the allergy relief section, but it's an antihistamine. It really works quickly, and it also can help with sleep. <laughs> Okay, then going back to the stomach issues, if I get diarrhea really bad, which doesn't usually happen, and usually with diarrhea, you just really want to just hydrate and make sure that you're getting your electrolytes. But in a really bad situation, um, loperamide can help uh, with those symptoms. And um, But I really recommend that you water and you hydrate yourself and speaking of hydrate and electrolytes then there's always pedialyte so if you drink too much or if you need to re, um, renew those those electrolytes um, these can really help i don't like how this tastes so i only package one package of that and then i have a bunch of this um this five hour energy this is what really seems to help us to not have those symptoms of headache and hangover kind of feelings. Um, it has a lot of uh, natural vitamins and it also gives us a boost in the evening. So we use five hours and we're going to be taking quite a bit on our trip. Okay, so then an ointment that we use um, just to relieve chase chafing or like hemorrhoids when you get older, it's a pain, but it's reality. So a &D helps with that and also helps with like chafed skin um also have um going to the other end uh aura gel helps with canker sores sometimes we get canker sores so this is also what we're going to bring this little container of this colgate peroxyl it really helps with canker sores and it's no fun to have mouth pain or canker sores when you're cruising so then i also have um some gas X just to, in case you have gas and bloating. Um, lately we have been having some muscle muscle aches and really bad back strain. So um, actually Vicks Vapor Rub or this equivalent, <laughs> again a Walmart brand. This helps with that. Um, that also can help with like opening up uh, clogged ear passages um, and sinuses. And then also I'm bringing some of this. Uh, these are patches, uh, kind of like the equivalent of a muscle rub, uh, salon pass. So they are helpful if my back is acting up. Um, I just tweaked my back at work and um, was on light duty for a little bit and now I'm back to full duty, but I don't want that to happen on a cruise. And so if I, if that is starting to hurt, um, I can use those salon pass and help make it better. Okay, then uh, for red eyes, sometimes I wake up and my eyes are red or allergies, so this can help with that. Um, 
if you have congestion, speaking of the cold symptoms, if you have a lot of congestion, this over uh, this mucinex um, can be very helpful for um, loosening up secretions, and um, they're they're huge tablets. So just if you need to, but mucinex is there. Okay, for travel sickness, then I have bonine. I have a little package of that. Um, if we're feeling a little bit uh, seasickness, motion sick, I also have Dramamine just to cover the bases, but we really haven't used that. Um, we are blessed not to feel that way, but I think if the seas get rough enough, we could, so it's in my medical bag, as well as C-bands. So um, I bought two of these and I'm bringing these along just in case uh, we have really bad motion sickness, as well as ginger chews. They got these gingins, and I have heard that green apples and some crackers can also help um, with settling everything down from motion sickness. So that's what we have just in case for motion sickness. Um, then I have a uh, hydrocortisone spray for uh, any type of itch. Uh, kind of irritation, uh, rashes, insect bites. This is very helpful if you get bit up or you're really um, having a bad rash that can help calm things down. Um, and just in case the spray isn't enough for the cortisone, we do have a little, a very small uh, bottle of the ointment for cortisone for insect bite relief. Um, then uh, I have a burn cream uh, quite a while back. My daughter had sustained a really bad burn um, when she was quite small. So I happened to have this silver sulf uh, sulfadiazine burn cream, but this really helps like crazy on burns. So um, bring them in. Then I do have some alcohol swabs and some Q-tips and cotton balls. You never know when those are gonna need to be used. I am bringing a pair of gloves, just in case. And I have some gauze, so I have some um, gauze that I needed to purchase for a family um, emergency. And then I have some tape that I will use with that gauze, and um, just in case. And then I do have some Steri strips, uh, band-aids. I like to get the band-aids that are waterproof as well as um, like one large band-aid. And I like to have the band-aids that are um, have the antibiotic gel in them, but I also am packing antibiotic ointment. Um, and I have a, a tongue depressor just in case because I have other ointments that I may need the tongue depressor to apply them and a needle so i put a needle in with gauze um, just in case for a sliver removal um, then in this i have a bag full of all these items um, i also have a tweezers just in case for for a sliver removal and that's my little bag of band-aid steri strips uh, and antibiotic ointment Bringing an ace wrap just in case um, if somebody has a sprained ankle or a sprained wrist, then I can wrap it up. And along with that, then I will bring an ice bag, ice pack um, that we've gotten from the emergency room for from injuries sustained. And that really keeps uh, the ice contained for applying ice. We are we already are. Um, starting to take our vitamin C. So uh, however you want to take it, we like emergency. Um, it's what works best for Anthony and I. Now Hannah hates the taste of this, so she's going to take her vitamin C with her vitamins. Um, I also take biotin for my nails and hair. This is a really good source of biotin that we, um, that we take. It has uh, antioxidants, um, C and E vitamins, uh, and uh, biotin 5,000 uh, micrograms. So um, just a nice supply of, of biotin. So uh, don't forget about your prescription medications. Um, so those you should carry with you at all times, and it helps to have them in the original 
pill containers just so that you know your doses and you know your directions and you have them labeled correctly. So um, we'll bring a few of our uh, prescription medication, we'll bring all of our prescription medications along. And the last thing that I have here is um, some cough drops. So uh, gonna be bringing some cough drops. So um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed my little presentation on what we bring. I know a lot of this is over the top. I like to be prepared. I'm Nurse Nancy. So um, I feel like if anyone is cruising with me and they tell me that they need something, I'm happy to help them out. Um, again, just don't take my advice over the advice of your doctor. Always consult with your doctor when you are taking uh, any kind of medications. What do you guys bring? Do you think that this is like over the top? Or um, do you have any other things that you bring? Any other items that you bring? Uh, please comment in the comments below. Um, if I miss something or if you have a suggestion, I really, really enjoy hearing from you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Safe travels and God bless. Bye. Thank you.